don't say that I trusted you. But I'm giving you an opportunity for you to earn my trust. I respect that. Thank you. Well, first question. I want to know why you started the Crips. To protect my neighborhood. You started a criminal organization to protect your neighborhood? No, no, it wasn't criminal when it began. Uh, I moved to South Central from Louisiana when I was nine years old. It was thugs, it was bullies, other gangs. Mm -hmm. It was really dog eat dog. Cops and the K-9 division and all that, they really wasn't doing anything in our community to make things better. From that moment on, I knew I was on my own. So everything sort of took its own natural order. After the uh, dogs fought themselves out, then they would throw us into the pit, me and this guy named Monroe, and let us fight. And that's when I learned then that I had to be strong. You know, it was either I was going to be a victim or victimize it, so I had to gain my respect very fast, and I got my respect by making them feel it. And I didn't care who it was. I didn't back down from anybody. That's when I knew that violence was effective. I had to do the most savage thing possible on reflex. I never backed down ever. That's how I built my rep. A recipe for dying young. I guess that was somebody on the outside like yourself looking in, but, in, but to us, in actuality, it was more survival, you know. Any dog can run and hide in the gutter, but uh, we wanted more than that. We? Who's we? Well, you know, our, our loved ones, our people, that we, our warriors that we gathered together. Loved ones, now, okay. This is when you met Raymond Washington. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, that's when I met him. Right. And, um... I mean, did you did you fight with him? Was no, there no, no, no. Uh, turf war or? It was nothing like that. Uh, myself and Raymond felt that uh, we would get together, you know, and, uh, and gather up young warriors, you know, for our cause. Two. The Washington's coming. So what? Here you got 20, 30 young bloods getting some notice. Give them mile miles a run. The way I see what you run in the west side, we holding down the east side. You come together, you know that's something dangerous right there. But you know the west side's cool. But the east side rules. Nah, man. It's the east side that's cool. The west side. We both collected young groups of warriors around us. We cleaned the other gangs out. streets around it, north, south, east, west. The thing is, is that, is that the Crips really became so powerful so fast that nobody really wanted to mess with us because they knew that we were going to mash other gangs, Avalon Garden Boys or Main Street Boys. They actually joined us rather than fight. You know, when I listen to you, 
But it sounds like good, clean fun. I mean, you could really view it that way at times. It was fun, you know, uh, because it was really about brute strength, about a man versus another man who was the strongest, and we would mash on anybody. And then things changed once they uh, Go. started shooting. That would be the Bloods? Yeah, the Bloods. They shot first. Yeah. You shot back. Of course. I mean, just because we said we weren't going to shoot didn't mean that the enemies won. I mean, it was war. Yeah, but they're, they're not your enemies. I mean, they were other young black men just like you. This is my question, Mr. Williams. How can you possibly justify shooting a man who looks just like you? I think the core of it is an embedded sense of self-hate. What I mean by that is, is that anytime you spoon feed an individual derogatory images of himself and his race, after a period of time, they start to believe those images. The images that I'm talking about are stereotypes, depicting that the majority of blacks are buffoons or functioning illiterates promiscuous, violent, welfare recipients, indolent criminals. Unfortunately, too many black people buy into that and believe that those stereotypes are true. So you lash out on those individuals that fit those stereotypes. You're basically trying to obliterate those negative images to rid yourself of that self-hate monster that subconsciously stalks you. That's a brilliant hypothesis. Really. But, but with... All due respect, Mr. Williams, I, there's not an African-American person in this country who hasn't been force-fed negative stereotypical images. But what are you saying? What I'm saying is that you still are responsible for choosing your own battlefield, for, for processing this information. I mean, where was your family? I understand, but that's what I'm saying. Wasn't there somebody who could help you dispel these images, help you process this programming? Yeah. I couldn't tell my mother what I was doing on the streets. Well, what about your father? What about him? That's it. When I was too out of control for my mother, she took me up to Oakland to live with my father. Stan, this is Stan, your father. Come with me. You wait here, I'll be right back. So the streets became my father. The Crips became my family. But have you ever stopped to think how many young black men you and your family sent to their graves? I don't understand what you're saying. You know, I thought we were doing an interview. You're, you're sitting here chastising me about things. I, I told you. I'm sorry. Listen, if somebody hadn't started the gangs, what we were doing, somebody would have came along and done it anyway. No. Don't you think that if it hadn't been the Crips, it would be something? I told you from the get-go, it was about survival. Survival is why we were here. That, I mean, that's just the way it's been throughout history. Bullshit. Now, would you come in here with so many criticisms? I mean, what have you done? Are you doing anything for the community? Or are you just reverting back to your little bougie world, trying to walk white, talk white? Why do you white? try to invalidate my blackness? Because of the choices you made? 
You don't know me. You don't know shit about me. You don't know what I've been through to get where I am. You don't know how hard I work to pull myself up to make something of myself. You don't have any idea. And what did you become? Look at you, the way you walk, the way you talk. Straight in your head. You lost. I may be lost, but I'm free, and you're not. I don't need this. Yes, you do. Guys! See you next week. Strip down. Bend over. Visitor didn't show. Gonna have to send you back. I had a bad rep. I believe the P 